Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine. This day we're going to be talking about general hospital spools for the week of September 20th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows that this is a good channel for soap fans. So then you can come over here and be part of our soap fam. Also, um, I like to give the members a shout out only in my weekly spoiler videos. I try to do it in about 30 seconds. I think I can get it this time. So thank you, Michael Pryor, Jeff Payton, Brian McConaughey, Phyllis Pearson, Ramona Newsom, Ariane Enos, Gwen Marie, Kiki Landry, Sandra Crawford, Omar Ramirez, Roger Smith, Artemis Hill, Marilyn Finn, Riri Carter, Sim Slims, Josh Hurst, Shari Williams, Shannon Clark, D.D. Rose Garden Design, Cheryl Beecher, Heather Kite, Jay Ponza, Red Butterfly, 50 Irish, Vanessa Sanders, Little Squirrel Russell, Megan Maloney, BBW Women, David Meadows, Patricia Bassano, Brooklyn James, Jennifer Ruth, and Kelly Banks. Did it! I think it was less than 30 seconds, actually. Um, so now we're going to get into the general hospital spoilers. So, um, on Monday, September 20th, Nina tries to make sense of her actions. She wanted to D. What else we got to make sense about? She wanted revenge and she wanted to D. She denied herself to D. Because she felt bad. But, you know, now that Sonny knows who he is, she wants to D again. <laughs> what more is there to say? Chase drops off a gift from Veronica. Uh, Olivia, and also, you know, Nina did this for revenge because she called Carly to tell her the truth. And when she called Carly, Carly was being a B I T, you know what, H. And um, so she like, screw you. <laughs> I'll keep this secret. And, you know, he seems better off when he's not a mobster. Um, Chase drops off a gift for Monica. Olivia is angry to learn that Ned has not been entirely honest with her. Brando only wants what's best for his mom. And Maxie and Spinelli share a moment at the reception. Please don't put Maxie and Spinelli back together. That ship has sailed. Sailed. Tuesday, September 21st. Valentine races to help Anna. Liz and Finn try to make sense of everything that has happened between them. Um, she's a widow. You're single. What else is there to know? Just get to getting. Uh, Chase and Brooklyn grow closer. Britt appreciates Austin's concern for Maxie. Willow and Michael discuss their future. Who cares? I know Michael will have fans, but I don't know why. They're boring as hell. Wednesday, September 22nd, Nina and Phyllis hash out their issues. Chase reconciled with Willow and Michael. I want to go back and say, I hope they figure out a way to keep Phyllis uh, in the cast now that they burnt down her place. Chase reconciles with... Oh, why would Chase reconcile with Willow and Michael? I know he's supposed to be a, a nice guy, but really... Uh, Cameron plays Peacemaker between Jocelyn and Spencer. Uh, Trina's suspicions of Esme are confirmed. Ava enlists Christina's help with Charlie's pub while she's out of town. Thursday, September 23rd, Britt heads to the boxing gym to blow off some steam. Trina asks Cameron to help in exposing Esme. Nina confides in Maxie. Nicholas tries to make things right with Spencer. Anna receives a chilly phone call. Friday, September 24th. Nicholas feels hopeful. Spencer has a change of heart. Esme tries to get closer to that, uh, little, 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 Jocelyn. Maxie prepares for the worst. Britt receives alarming news. So, we have some additional um, things that are going to be happening in the week. Anna and, Nick and Valentine are in Nixon Falls. Nina tells them that Peter is alive. After blasting Nina, Anna and Valentine go off looking for Peter. Uh, they part ways to cover more ground, and it is Anna who stumbles upon Peter first. Uh, there's a high octane confrontation, as well written, which is Finola, which is something Fanola Hughes says. She is armed. She is cold, and she is looking for information. There is no more familial stuff coloring Anna's view of Peter. She's just an agent in a field, and she is determined not to make another mistake. Um, Sonny has his memories back, which we already know. He returns to Port Charles 
after the wedding and he shows up I'm sure it probably won't happen to Friday but he shows up on the wedding night Yay! <laughs> this is what I wanted to see um, <clears throat> um, so you know so of course Carly and Jason were not blown up in the car he got that phone call which probably told him um, that something was wrong with the limo they were going to blow it up or something because he said something to the effect of yeah I know that's what I thought so they're probably in a completely different limo um, and uh, let me see what else so they're going to drag it out let Carly and Jason be safe and I'm hoping Sonny walks in right while they're doing the do because that would be classic soap opera elements um, I didn't get to see the interview yet but I heard from other people that on his his uh, talk show he had a talk with Laura Wright where he said that you know he really didn't want Carly and Sonny to get back together I have queued up that interview so I can see for myself what he was talking about um, and make sure that their paraphrasing was correct. Uh, some of you can tell me in the comment section if you've already seen the interview. But, um, yeah, I've said this before. Uh, Carly and Sonny used to be a little super couple, you know, back in the day. But last time Sonny and Carly were together, people paid more attention to the moss playing on the counter than them. They didn't have any loving moments, they didn't have any romantic moments. Yeah, she gave him a few hugs because Mike was having Alzheimer's or whatever. But we never really seen Sonny and Carly in years acting as a couple. A lot of times, they're not even in the same scenes together. She's doing her thing. You know, she probably spends more time with Jackson than she does with Sonny. And then, um, you know, you got Sonny doing whatever he's doing. You know, a lot of scenes with Mike and stuff at the time. So, and now they're even separated again for almost a year. So, um... Yeah, any any of y'all looking for that Carson reunion or whatever? It's it's really highly doubtful. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before, but I think that if Sonny catches Jason and Carly in bed, he'll be so angry that he may go running straight to Nina, who he actually has developed feelings for, and then that's going to make Carly mad, and it's going to be a whole mess, and then that's why we watch the show. We don't watch the show for people being nice and happy and, and you know, I mean, that's a Michael and Willow. Who cares? You know, so we want to see the, we want to see the mess. We want to see the confrontations. Yeah, we want some happy moments, but, you know, the ratings go down when nobody's doing nothing. These storylines have been dragging for over a year. It's time to move it up. Uh, I read that uh, General Hospital's ratings are at the 11 month low. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we need some changes. Thank you for watching.